It is among the world's most visited tourist sites, 750,000 visitors a day. Opened in 1913, that four-faced opal clock makes Grand Central instantly recognizable. Now this iconic 20th century American landmark is jumping into the 21st century. Certainly the temple of mass transit in the United States, and we built a whole new railroad terminal right underneath. For 15 years, crews have been dynamiting and boring right under the existing Grand Central. With a staggering price tag of $11 billion, it's the biggest expansion since 1910. In New York, transit is like air and water. It's the only way we can survive. MTA chairman and CEO Jano Lieber gave us an exclusive behind-the-scenes tour. Marble walls, mosaic artwork, more retail space, and New York-themed quotes from the likes of Jerry Seinfeld, Jay-Z, and Alicia Keys. We're going even deeper and deeper underground. Oh, yeah. This is all about getting into the bedrock. Remember, we did eight miles of tunnel boring just to create this. To understand why this is a big deal for New Yorkers, look at the map. Until now, commuters on the railroad from Long Island have had to travel all the way to Penn Station on the west side of Manhattan, then backtrack to work on the east side. Now they'll be getting off at Grand Central Madison on the east side, cutting travel times by up to 40 minutes and doubling capacity on the Long Island Railroad. What a difference 100 years makes. The new Grand Central Madison, eight blocks long, 13 miles of new tunnels, 40 miles of new track, and the biggest mass transit project in America. CEO Lieber took us 150 feet below ground to see the dynamite fractures in the bedrock from the early 1900s. That is what Grand Central and Manhattan were built on. We're constantly building on what we inherited from our forebears, constantly using it, because it was great construction. This, these people really knew what they're doing. And here you are 110 years later, and we're going to use it all. <laughs> We were on one of the first test train rides through the tunnels with a new control center monitoring every train in the system. It's work 24-7 every second of the day because the dispatchers that are here are monitoring those train movements. Construction workers worked round the clock even as COVID devastated the city. Now the last minute fixes. New York Governor Kathy Hochul. We are hit so hard during the pandemic, but to be able to have this new terminal open, the first major terminal like this in 67 years. This says that New York is exceptional. Not just a facelift, a new Grand Central for the next 100 years and beyond. All right, so if you travel through New York, you know that Penn Station has really been operating at max capacity. In fact, three times the passenger volume that it was designed for. So this new Grand Central underneath my feet will take the pressure off Penn Station. And they're already in the middle of a major renovation and update at Penn Station as well. Again, the new Grand Central coming in just a few weeks, guys. That's great. Back to you. I, and wow. to Tom's point, I don't think most folks had any idea that was going on. No. I can't believe that was happening because we've been to Grand Central yeah. a bunch of times over the last 10 years. That's wow. huge, Great Tom. Cool, Tom. Thank, Thank you. you. Man, that looks cool. That looks cool. real cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.